Hey. People, come up close and have a smell. Fresh bread. God grant you health. How may I help you? I'm honored that a knight such
I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Jesus Christ be praised. How may I serve you? God be with you. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Yeah! God's bless. I'm interested. Uh-huh. Proper bar. I'm sure you- Good luck, then.
Hey! Huh? Thank you for the dress, Henry. It's really lovely. Wouldn't you like to take a sh I'd love to. Already. <laughs> See you another time then. <laughs> I could hear you rattling a mile off in that armor. I've got something that needs to. All right. I respect Fritz sent me. I'd like to talk about... Ah, you'd like some wine from my cellar? I have it right here, in the back. That's right. Show me the way. Farewell.
Fritz sent you, did he? Aye. This was his idea. Look, lad, I'm fond of Fritz. I knew his old man, but Matthew, he's insane. Robbing people. Only those that deserve it. And you think his lordship won't mind? Have you any idea the kind of shit you can get into? I don't believe you're up to it. Why don't you believe us? Plenty of coin in it, and almost no risk for you. So, there'd be a share in it for me, eh? A handsome one. We'll see if you're up to it. You'll need a disguise. What disguise? Use your head. You can never be sure no one will see you. Yeah, that's true. We'll have to put on some other clothes, or... Dress up as humans. What? It's obvious, isn't it? Everyone knows they're looting. If someone's robbed by humans, no one will investigate. Mm, that's true. But I'll have to get some human clothes. A captain. And three sets of them. What? On account of the helmets. No one will recognize you with them on. And where the hell am I supposed to get it? There's gangs of humans around skeletons. I've got a good idea where to find them from. Passes by. I'm supposed to attack a human camp. A minute ago, you were full of yourself. And now, all of a sudden, you've lost your nerve. But the whole fucking camp. Scouts are deserters. Most likely the ones who are trying to skive off or take easy pickings. And even humans have to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. I've got them. Three full outfits. What? Everything? The whole bloody lot. Well then, let's see how you look in it. Good luck to you.
Oh. Is that it? it it's a bit... Uh... Ordinary? Are you serious? I got it straight from the fucking humans. Well, it's not exactly, uh, terrifying, is it? <laughs> it's about as frightening as my aunt's speckled hen. You just don't look much like a cumin to me. Have any of you actually seen a cumin? What? Do you mean close up? <laughs> don't be daft. Mirror Mirror's described them many times. Everyone knows cumins are monstrous. They're barbarians. Pagans. Whereas you... Look like a little boy playing at soldiers. And just who the hell is Miramir? He's a regular in my tavern. He works as a caravan guard, and he knows what he's talking about. He's been eye to eye with a human, and he's lived to tell the tell. You can ask him yourself. Nah, what do they know? Oi, Henry. Take that ridiculous thing off before anyone sees you, eh? Glad to see you. They tell me you've seen a lot of humans. They say you'd recognise one even in the dark. I certainly would. Buy me a drink and I'll tell you stories that will make your hair curl. Here you go. Thanks. What's your name anyway? Henry. Hmm. Anyway. Not long ago, I was escorting a goods caravan all the way from Vienna, when all of a sudden, a terrible storm came down. Hail, lightning, snow, the works. Snow? In summer? Don't interrupt. Well, where was I? Oh, that's right, the storm. We straight off the path, couldn't see the ground beneath our feet. And all of a sudden, we heard singing. In the distance, we saw a fire in the clearing, with malevolent creatures reigning around it, singing demonic songs. <laughs> and these malevolent creatures didn't mind the snow. Wouldn't they have preferred to sing somewhere warm? A big choir! Anyway, as if in a trance, we walked towards the fire. And at that moment, we saw them. Were those hideous creatures monsters or demons, you ask? They were humans and a bunch of infants crying and sniffling. Oh, so, someone was feeling the cold. I'd have been shivering too. Snow doesn't do me any good, especially in summer. And those devilish creatures were drinking the blood of babies and fornicating with she-devils. We stood there paralyzed with fear until I, and I alone, managed to break out of the spell. I can tell you, I never ran so fast in my life. I was the only one to escape. Since that time, I've been able to do nothing but sit here. I can't work since that awful shock. I'm probably still under a spell. Yeah, undoubtedly. Probably a spell of laziness. Listen, Millimere, what you just said is complete and utter bollocks from start to finish. What the hell would you know about it? I'm from fucking Scalitz. I watched those bastards butchering my kith and kin with my own eyes. Ah, uh, you might have said that before. I could have saved the yarn for someone who'd appreciate it. Where did you hear this nonsense? Who's been spreading all these rumours about how frightening the humans look? Oh, the people from around these parts. The Bram, the charcoal burner told me about them. He lives in the woods near. And then there's Olena, the wife of the Talmud fisherman. And young Vashak, a stable boy at the stud farm in Ushitz. He saw them too. Goodbye.
I'm honored that you should come to me. They say you know what humans look like. I do. Once when I was going alone through the dark woods. That's of no interest to me. Ah, uh, but. Look, save the tall tales to impress the wenches. I'm not interested. Well, well, they're decked out in raven feathers because. Well, so a black hen would do. But that wouldn't have magical powers. Right. Good luck then. Yeah. 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 God be with you. I've taken care of that camp. Have you brought me proof? Here it is. Good work. Well done. I've received another report. Some folk were ambushed by the Talberg Creek on the way towards Ujits. I reckon it'd be worth a look there. Very well. I'll take a look there. I have some trophies. Show me. They deserved it, the bastards. I could do with a bite to eat. Good evening. Uh, 
They say you know about humans. Fangs. They wear wolves' fangs to make themselves invisible in the dark. Then they can creep around like beasts of prey as sneaky as death. Mm, that was quick. Fangs. Goodbye. Yeah. I've only got two hands. Coming right up. God be with you. I hear you can tell me something about humans. No, sir. M my master would whip me for telling tall tales again. But really, it's all true. I won't hit you. Just tell me, is it the truth? Really, sir? I still see them every time I try to sleep. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So what do the humans wear? They wear the skins of dogs hunted down in the night. So no weapon can hurt them. Right. Thanks. Would you like a new job? I'm looking for someone to care for the horses at my stables. You've got stables? Not just yet, but we're working on it. Sure. An upstart like you with his own stables. I'll believe it when I see it. God be with you. <laughs> Good day to you. What? Look what I've got, you love this. Is there somewhere? Certainly. For how long? Just the No problem. Here you go. Your life. Where do I go? You'll have no trouble finding it. Right inside the door to the building, there's a ladder up to the loft. May the Lord watch over you. Thank <laughs> you. 
to heal, Muck. Reddish, hotter than a burning torch. I hope I can. <laughs> Farewell. God preserve you.
God be with you. Good afternoon. Also? Take care. Bye, my <laughs> from mad to the world, plucked from the flanks of... Mercy, sir. Please, sir. Help me. What's happened to you? I've walked all the way from Kuttenberg, but as you can see, I'm barefoot. My feet have fade to the bone. Don't you have a strip of clean cloth for me, good sir, so I can swathe my feet at least? Penitents ought to go barefoot. Don't you know that? But I'm not a penitent, sir. I'm just poor. And you're poor because you're a sinner. Don't you know that God rewards the just and punishes the sinners? I know that, but... No buts. God has punished you for your sins, so you ought to bear your poverty as your just penance. You're a cruel one, lad. Don't let me delay you. I'd best wait for a more generous soul. Goodman. We've met before, haven't we? We have, and I defeated you in combat. No doubt you would like a chance of reprisal. Why not? I could use a little exercise. Excellent. I see you have no fear. Let's get to it, then. I feel quite hungry. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
I'm over here. Come here, Lily Liver. Come here, Lily Lily. <laughs> 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 Come on then! One honorably. How'd you get so fucked up? Good luck then. Jesus, what are you been? See you later.
God save Henry. My humble greetings. How may I serve you? Can we trade? If you've got the coin. Yeah. 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 Jesus Christ be prayed.
Glad to see you. My respects to you. I got fucking everything. Wonderful. Come with me. God be with you. What's taking them so long? Oh, I really don't know. Ready? Good. Now put it on. Hmm. Oh, that was in a movement. That's good. That's really fucking good. You don't think it's too much? It's perfect. If I met you at night, I'd shit myself. That's exactly what humans look like. Says the man who's never seen one. Well, I mean, that's exactly what people think humans look like. Yep, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. <laughs> We're only just getting started. What are you being a Hey, I've got this thing going in Privis Lathers, and there's plenty of Sorry, Henry, old pal. But I'm up to my ears and my Take care. Have you heard about anything interesting going on lately? Just some talk about lost sheep and, and decent wenches. Probably nothing to interest you. Of course I care about it. Sheep and wenches are my thing. Where do I find them? That's over and done with. They ran away into the forest. The wenches? The sheep. Well, we'd better get back to work. I don't really have anything specific right now. But I did hear about something, something interesting from one of your neighbors. Who? I don't know his name, but it was about as old as you. He said his family owned the Scallets Tavern. Young Adam, then. And the interesting part? He decided he wanted to go back home. 
see the damage and so on. And someone looted it right in front of his nose. I know. I've met those scavengers before. It's not that interesting, just sad, really. It certainly isn't Christian. But the thing is, they were hiding money in that cellar of theirs. And did he say where he was going? He said he's going to Ratai. That he has some arrangements there. It won't be easy to find him. Ratai's a little overcrowded nowadays. Then you'll have to ask someone, won't you? Bloody hell. You want me to hold your hand while you pull it? I wouldn't count on it. The looters probably spent all of it by now if he crawled into the right tavern. And anyway, I'm sure they didn't exactly have the royal treasure hidden there. This Adam said it was enough to fix a whole cottage. Or to go exploring the world. All right, but it still seems shady. And you haven't really given me much to go on. Maybe. But I don't have anything better. Why don't you find him and ask him and see where it leads you? I'll be on my way then. Go. Go. And ask him when you see him. Maybe you'll think of something. Did you know of any way I could earn a bit of coin? As it happens. So, tell me. Now and again, the fisherman from Tomberg comes around here with some game to sell. There's more and more poaching going on there. <laughs> they tell me there's a shortage of poachers. There isn't. Only their chief is, uh, well, not an easy man to get on with. Why's that? He's a strange one for a poacher. He's got ideas, and uh, not just about how to make coin. But you'll see for yourself soon enough. That won't be for me. As you wish. Come back if you change your mind. Good luck. This won't take long. Bring it on! Come here. What's the matter? Uh, Bollocks! Well landed!
How are you doing? Feeling better yet? Aye, much better. I'm truly grateful. A bit longer and I'll be able to run back to the woods and carry on. Well, never mind. Very kind of you to look in on me. Truth be told, hey, I didn't come just I'm for your help. You what do you need? Well, I've heard tell there's work for fearless men who enjoy a bit of silver. Ah, I believe I can help you with that. They used to frequent the tavern, but now they meet in the church. The church? Aye, that's right. The church is locked at night, but if you see a light, the door will be open. Go in there and wait. Say a prayer or something, and then you'll see. That's it? I don't need to speak to anyone? Just doing what I told you is enough. They'll give you a good look over and see if you've got the metal. Don't you worry about that. All right, thank you. You took care of me, why wouldn't I help you? Tit for tat, eh? Take care. Oh, I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Yeah. I am honored that you should come to me. I'm looking for some people you might know something about. If they come here to drink, maybe. But I won't aid you in any mischief. I've heard some rough men come here looking to recruit. Have they ever stopped in to eat or drink? Or to arrange something? There were some brawlers that used to fight behind the tavern. But they raised such a commotion. I went and complained, and a town watch drove them off somewhere. I wasn't thinking about that lot. I'm looking for recruiters that hire mercenaries and other cutthroats. I don't know about that. Every once in a while, a merchant will hire some help or an escort, but nothing more. Nobody comes here regular. I'd notice if they did. Do you happen to know where the brawlers you complained about moved on to? Um, I've not got the slightest inkling. I'm just glad all the shouting stopped. It scared the horses in the stables. You haven't heard talk of uh, any scoundrels in town? Well, I have heard some things, but I can't say if they're true or not. <laughs> There's some that talk just to hear the sound of their own voices. And who's the most frequent topic of that kind of gossip? Miller Simon. They say he's rich with coin, and it's not from the mill. But that's nonsense. Folk just don't know how much a mill can earn. Anyone else? Aye, there's talk of the knacker giving people the evil eye, or them that's not in Bailiff's good graces. But I don't suppose that's what you want to know. Thank you, innkeeper. Not at all. Would you like something to eat or drink?
Look what I've got for you. You'll love the respects to you. I've got a few questions for you, Bailiff, if you don't mind. Have you been having some trouble around here? And what business is it of yours? Did someone complain? Who sent you here? No one complained, though I'd be interested to know why you think they might. It was Lord Radzig who sent me. He'd heard word that some unsavory characters are holed up round here. Begging your pardon? But what the devil does Sir Radzig care about it? And I keep hearing the same from Sir Sebastian. And he's got no dog in this fight either. You have an inn and the horse trails cross here. There must be many travellers come seeking work and not all of them honest men. Aye, it's true. Bedlam has broken out once or twice and restoring order was no easy matter. Has there been anything like that lately? No. It's been quiet here lately. Now that I think about it, I don't recall coming across anyone here like that. Nobody looking for soldiering work, maybe as a merchant's guard? There's always one or two like that. But if they don't get the job, they move on. Sir Sebastian? Who's that? Sebastian Baron von Berg. He's here under monastery law to protect us against all this unrest in the land. Why should he care about the city? That's not his jurisdiction, is it? Quite true. I'm in charge of this city, but he keeps telling me I've got cutthroats hiding around here and I should be more vigilant. The goal of the man. Have you heard any talk of strangers in the town? Maybe people acting oddly? Nothing worth mentioning. Sure, there's been some talk about the miller. Folks saying they've been seeing him doing this or that, or people visiting him at night. But he's never done anything. He's a decent enough man. For a miller. I'll try asking him if he's heard anything. He lives on the other side of the river, by the bogs. But don't go getting your hopes up. He might not be able to help. I heard some recruiters are meeting in Sassau. Seemed likely they'd get up to mischief and people might complain. Do you think that people here complain and I don't do my job? Nothing of the sort. Old Lederman's the only one that comes complaining but I pay no heed to him. And what does this Lederman complain about? Lederman is our local tanner, lives by the quarry, which is where, well, some youngsters go there to wrestle. They go there to fight and that doesn't bother you? Why would it bother me? Much better to brawl there than in the tavern. At least in the quarry they can't damage anything but each other. And my catchpoles go by there from time to time to keep an eye on things. Thank you, Bailiff. May the Lord watch over you. I've heard talk about your knacker. What's my neighbour been up to this time? Digging up corpses again? Or robbery? Did he do that? No, he didn't. But people thought he did. His house is nearby, between the rat house and the church. 
He's a decent man, a good man, but he's the knacker and the grave digger. That's good to know. Good luck to you. <clears throat> My humble greetings. How may I serve you? Are you the local knacker? I'm the local grave digger. But if there aren't any burials to take care of, I'll turn me anti -nackery. Well, then you might know a lot of things that others don't. I'm a decent man. Not always honest, but decent. Anything fishy going on in these parts? There certainly is. Candles are being stolen from the church. As brazen as that. What sort of people do that? Ah, but have you heard of anyone around here hiring adventurers and bandits? How would I know that? Most people avoid talking to me. I don't even go to the tavern much these days. Thank you. I'll be going now. Very well. Feel free to stop by any time. People shy away from me, except when there's a death or the cesspits full. God be with you. God save you. What can I do for you? I heard someone was looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about it? Maybe. I work in the quarry, and they're always looking for extra hands to replace them that's got something broken. That's not what I meant, but thanks. God be with you. God almighty, has something happened to you? Did someone steal your fancy clothes? Tanner, I've heard all's not well with you. It's better now. I must have eaten something bad. No, I mean you've complained about some ruffians raising hell behind your house. Aye, true enough. That lot's been a thorn in my side. And when I went to tell them to take it elsewhere, they nearly beat me to a pulp. When are they there? Nearly every evening. Every godforsaken evening. Shouting and bellowing there till nightfall. And then they leave. Probably to get drunk. How many of them are there? How would I know? They make as much noise as a herd of wild boar in rutting season. And did they all attack you? I. They knocked the stuffing right out of me. And nobody does a thing about it. I've been to the bailiff, but he couldn't give a rat's arse. There's no commotion under his window, so what does he care? That's quite a bailiff you've got. A scarecrow would keep better order. If you want, I'll take care of them. Well, you look like you could move mountains, but there are several of them and just one of you. Perhaps we'll be able to settle things peacefully. Maybe. They might think twice before kicking your arse. Perhaps I can reason with them. It doesn't have to come to blows. Well, break a leg, lad. Or better yet, don't. But if you manage to pull it off, you'll get your reward. Don't worry. See you later.
Yeah. God save you. What can I do for you? Listen, have you heard about anyone looking to recruit men around here? Or planning some kind of mischief? No. Come on. I know how it is with Millers. I've been friends with a few and they hear all the gossip. So go ask them. I doubt their ears reach all the way here. Then it seems you're out of luck. Surely we can come to some arrangement. I don't much care for strangers. So, what do I have to do to get in your good graces, Master Miller? Well, if I heard from those Miller friends of yours that you can be relied upon, and you're not a complete dolt. God be with you. Yeah! Yeah. Anyways, I'm glad you 
Where'd you came? See? What? The... You thought I wouldn't find out? You didn't return the relic. But I... Oh, bugger. How could you do that? It's because of people like you that they won't let decent folk in. Weak at the knees, have you?
fresh from the woods or from the Yeah! The Tanner sent me. He says you've been causing a commotion at night, and I thought I might convince you to stop. Ha! So all his whining finally found a friendly ear, did it? Let me tell you something first, whelp. I'm the bailiff's man, and we're not doing anything wrong here. Old Letterman's only been whining like that since he lost a bit of silver. Didn't bother him before that. He told me different. Ha! Of course he did. Otherwise, no one would help him. Go ahead and ask the lads. They'll tell you the same. It's God's honest truth. I'll take you at your word. But what should I do now? The way I see it, you've got two choices. Screw that old liar and leave him be or get down to business. What do you mean, get down to business? Well, you may think you're pretty tough, and if you give us all a thrashing, we might think it over. But then again, we're no strangers to a hard fight. If I break your arm, then you won't be coming here for a while, will you? But I'm a fair fellow, so I'll make you an offer. If you enter our tournament and win, which means beating us all, then we'll go elsewhere. If you don't win, then you're flat out of luck and have to leave. That's not so bad, is it? If I wanted to join in... It's pretty simple. First you have to beat Weed. He's that not too dangerous looking fella there. But some nights, he gets a good rest and he's got God on his side. Then you can try one of those three. Doesn't matter which. And if you whip all three, you can test your metal against me. Fair enough. So the last match is with you? That's right. They say a bout with me is no joke. Just bad humours. <laughs> What are you doing here? Nothing special. Just a little evening wrestling. It's good for your back and digestion. And your purse too, if you know your business. I want to fight you. What did I tell you? First beat Weed and those three clowns. And then I'll have time for you. Got it? Goodbye. <laughs> God be with you. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. I heard that someone was looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about that? No, but I'm always the last to hear of anything like that. I'll ask Punch. He'd know. I heard you gave him quite a beating. It's his own damn fault. Really? He just came to tell you to go elsewhere. That's what he told you? Bollocks! He came of his own accord. It was him started the fuss, after he'd lost all his money. He really tried to have a go? I wouldn't think he'd have it in him. He tried, but he didn't have much luck. He does pack a punch. But landing it in the right place, ha! I'm not surprised he's got no children. Let's do it. Let's go. God be with you. God be with you. I heard someone was looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about it? Maybe. I work in the quarry, and they're always looking for extra hands to replace them that's got something broken. Oh, that's not what I meant, but thanks. 
Why did you thrash the tanner? Because he came by one day, lost his money, and then started on about how we cheated him and ought to give him back his coin. He was a right pest. He told me that you jumped him when he asked you to stop making a racket behind his house. Well, that's sort of true. But he didn't start complaining until he lost his money. Before that, it didn't bother him. Let's fight. You look pretty good. But I'm betting it was just luck. We'll see. Goodbye. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. I've heard that someone's looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about it? If I knew you better, I might tell you. But as things stand... What went on with the tanner? When things got lively, I wasn't here. The others were, though. Go ask them. Let's fight. That wasn't bad. But let's see how you do with me. See you later. God save you. I heard that someone's looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about that? Willing to do anything? Meaning what? Something filthy like helping the knacker? I wouldn't know. Go and ask someone else. That's not what I meant, but all right. What happened with the tanner? Nothing out of the ordinary. He came to test his metal like everyone, but he couldn't even get past young weed. Then he started whining about getting his money back because we tricked him, so we threw him out. He came back a few times after that complaining about all the shouting, ordered us to bugger off elsewhere. But you didn't? No. And when he got really annoying, he got a punch in the mouth, and he hasn't been back since. Doesn't dare to. But it didn't shut that big mouth of his. Let's fight. That wasn't bad, but now we'll take it up a notch. Goodbye. I want to fight you. You put on quite a show. Can't say I expected it. Good luck then. Oh. 
I've heard that someone's looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about it? If I knew you better, I might tell you. But as things stand... See you later. That was pretty good. I didn't think you had it in you. You were really good. I've got to hand it to you. Most lads don't make it past me. So listen, I want to tell you something. What's that? There are people here looking for really tough men. And I'd say you fit the bill. So when you walk through town this evening, if there's a light in the church, go in and wait a while. If they like the looks of you, they might give you some work. Thanks. I'll think about it. Look here, lads. I hope I won't be seeing you around here again. Go and find some other place for your games. All right, all right. We'll go. But if you want to fight again, you're always welcome. I bet you'll come off worse next time. God be with you. Yeah. Amen. So, you've been looking for us, eh? What is it you want? I hear you're hiring men who don't mind getting their hands dirty. Is that so? And where did you hear that? Taverns and the like. People talk. Well, that's a pretty tale. But no one in any tavern told you to come here and wait, did they? So let's have it. Who told you? The bailiff's man told me about you. The one who runs the fight club in the quarry. <laughs> did he now? Well, I hope you tranced him. Bastard took my money at dice. If you want, I can give him a proper hiding. Just to show you I'm serious. Spare me the boasting. I've got a test ready for you. 
Let's see how you handle it before you tell us how wonderful you are. What test? Nothing complicated. We used to take anyone who looked like they could keep their head on straight. But not now. Now you can only join if you do what we tell you. Which is what? Steal something? Nah, not theft. If you want to join us, you have to kill Pius. Who's Pius? And why should I kill him? That's none of your business. But I'll tell you anyway, because it's an instructive tale. Pius was one of us, but he fucked up. How? Did he steal something? Yeah, that was part of it. Stole some money, ran away. A few boys died over it. Showed a distinct lack of loyalty. And as soon as he's dead, you can join us. I have to find him first. <laughs> you don't need to find him. We know where he is. Then why haven't you killed him yourselves? It's quite a test. He's hiding in a monastery. With the stable boys? It's not hard to get into the grounds. <laughs> no, not there. Oh, he would have been dead long since. He's in the, uh, cloister, or whatever it is. But only monks can get in there. <laughs> Just monks and pious. He's an educated bastard. Seems he used to be a priest, but it didn't quite work out. Murder someone in a monastery? Have you gone mad? <laughs> Murder's a sin as it is. Doesn't really matter where you do it. Yes, it does. I'd be spilling blood on hallowed ground. <laughs> well then, knock him senseless, drag him outside, and finish him off where it's less sacred. I don't give a damn where you do it, just as long as he ends up dead. And how am I supposed to get into the cloister? You'll think of something. Maybe there's a secret passage. I've heard there's some cave underneath. The cave of Saint Procopius. There might be a way into it from outside. And do you have any other ideas besides secret passages? Well, there is this one fellow I've been hanging around the taverns. Supposed to join the monastery soon. Might be he could help you somehow. I'd try talking to him if I were you. And if he doesn't help, knock him on his ass and take anything he's got that you could use to pass yourself off as him. A letter of admittance to the monastery, or whatever. And do you have any other test? We're not hiring stable boys. We want men who are prepared to do anything. And this is the toughest task we've got. So how many men have you already sent? And just a handful. And what happened to them? Did they hang? Ah, just the first one. The others turned tail. Guess they didn't have the stomach for it. How will I recognize Pius? He won't have been there long. He should be the only new one there. But what if there are others? What does he look like? Normal. He always went about well-dressed and had a fine-looking dagger. Yes, except he'll be given a robe and they'll take his knife. Then you'll have to try and figure out which one of the novices it is and get him to betray himself. Try getting him drunk. Then send him straight to hell. Get him drunk? In a monastery? <laughs> Where better? There's more wine there than in the royal cellars. And I doubt he's suddenly stopped drinking. Fine. So I've got to kill Pius. He's in the cloister, and to get into the cloister, I'll need to enlist the help of some boy who's joining the order, right? More or less. And now the main thing. The main thing is to kill him, isn't it? Of course. Well, that's not all. All hell's gonna break loose in the monastery after the murder. So, either make sure nobody finds him, or hightail it out of there quick as soon as the job's done. But better if they don't find him right away. And what else? Should I come back here afterwards? No, no. Before you run for it, take his special dice and bring it as proof that you killed him. And if you can get him to tell you where he hid the coin, bring that as well. Bring his dice and the money if I find it. And where should I bring it? From the monastery, head east across the river. There'll be a swamp where you'll find a fire pit. Go there at night and light a fire. Make it nice and big and we'll show up. 
take the dice and the money, and then tell you where to report. Got it? Right, I'm to slip into the best guarded place in the entire region and kill someone. Take his dice and money, and then go to the swamp and wait by the fire. Yeah, that's the idea. <sighs> well, you can at least say a few Hail Marys for me. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. <laughs> and remember, we'll be keeping tabs. So don't you try to run off, all right? Take care. What the hell are you fooling about here for? Be off right now or I'll fucking see you off. Hey, where's your torch? You can't walk around here in the dark without... Yeah. Yeah. Out. I hope I can be of help to you, man. You wouldn't be Carl by any chance? No. Good luck. Have you got a bed for them? I suppose I could. For how long? Just the one. No problem. There you are. You like.
God preserve you. Good. Volunteering to get your head smashed in. That's right. Let's go. No curva. I'm glad to see you. You wouldn't be Carl. No. Goodbye. Uh, don't you start. Oh well, I wouldn't mind a bite to eat, actually. God save you. See you later. Here. Look what I've got for I you. You'll love this. Have some grub, whatever's quick. A tanker, dear. What? Here we are. Are you volunteering to get your head smashed in? Calm down. Then get. Bring me something to eat. Something happened to you? Well, Master Painter, are you still short of coin? Yes, unfortunately. And my offer still stands. Don't you want to buy something? I'm sorry, but I don't.
Yeah. Clear off before I have you thrown out. From the yard or from the woods, rain and fatty pork, chicken and bait. We had it all. Cut and steak. <coughs> God save you. I've taken care of the lads who were bothering you. You'll have a quiet evening tonight. God bless you, lad. And here's something for your trouble and kindness. Unlike that miserable bailiff. If anything else grieves you, just say the word. Good luck then.
My humble greetings. How may I help you? I'd like to make... And what is it you... Proper bar. I'm sure... God be... Greeting. I'd like to make proper. I'm sure you'll God be with you. God's blessings, but what can I do for you? Take care. Is something the matter? I'm at your service, Sir Knight. You wouldn't be Carl. No. Goodbye. I'll have a beer. God grant you health. There. How may I help you? Are you Carl by any chance? I am. Why do you ask? 
I've heard that you're bound for the monastery. Yes, yes, it's true. But I've convinced my faithful guardian, Manfred, to give me a few more days of freedom. Mind you, he won't let me visit the brothel. So instead, I'm devoting those days to the demon drink. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? My name is Henry. Pleased to meet you, Henry. I've only got two hands. Could we speak in private? I have some, um, issues with the monastery. Really? Well, I'd love to talk about it, but we won't have privacy as long as Manfred here has his head permanently stuck up my arse. Get rid of him for me, please. See you later. You're Manfred, the young lord's guardian. Indeed I am. Why? You must have a mighty thirst. Waiting here with him for days, just watching him get drunk, and not having a sip yourself. There's no doubt I'd enjoy a drink. Heaven knows I deserve it. But if I dull my senses in the slightest, that rogue will surely get up to mischief. So let's drink together. And if you start to feel unwell, I'll keep an eye on him. Like you said, you deserve some fun. I can see you're a reliable lad. So what shall we have to drink? And while we're at it, why not have a little game? Goodbye. <laughs> we'll see you sadly lucky. Here's to a good harvest. Here. I'm hungry. I'd like a bite to eat. This will be the one. God's holy hat! By Christ! They're falling your way, and no mistake! One bear for me. There. Satisfied? One bear for me. There. Satisfied? Coming right up. Cheers. My pleasure. Got it for you right here. Oh no! This'll be an easy win. This will be the one.
That's all. One ale over here, please. Holy mother of God, what I could do with something to eat. <laughs> Manfred's taken care of, just as you wanted. Thank God. He won't let me out of his sight for a second, and he's itching to get me in the monastery so he can head back home. Why are you being sent to the monastery? Like every lusty young lad, I'm fond of fair maidens, but I got too fond of one, and let's just say she was, um, indisposed for nine months. But they don't send you to the monastery for that. They do, when it's the daughter of the Lord of your feet. Shit. Shit is putting it mildly. The Lord of Bukova was less than pleased. He knows he'll never marry off his daughter now, so he gave father a choice. Either pay him 1,000 groschen in compensation, along with my balls on a silver platter, or pay 1,000 groschen and put me away somewhere no one will ever see me again. Why does your guardian never leave your side? So I don't run away. Of course, I'm free to walk around, but he watches every step I take and won't stop until I'm behind the monastery walls. Well, he's not watching you now. What good is that to me when he has all the money and even my saddle and riding cloak under lock and key? Why don't you just run away? Fear asked. What the hell would I do? I don't know how to work, I have no money, and that old bastard's even taken my cloak. He has me in the palm of his hand. But there are poor people everywhere, and they get by somehow. If I have to choose between hunger and poverty on one hand, and the monastic life on the other, I'm afraid the monastery wins. If I could only steal that old man's pouch, I'd be gone I'll faster than lightning, and no one would ever see me again. What if I entered the monastery instead of you? I'll what? Voluntarily? You don't look like someone who'd want to spend the rest of his days on his knees praying. But that's your problem. You could only enter the monastery if you know how to read and write, right and if you have a special writ from the abbot. That's a letter confirming they know who you are and that they've accepted you. So you give me your writ? I'll just tell them I'm you. Manfred has the writ. You'd have to take it from him, but he only puts it down when he sleeps. So I'll steal it, and then you can disappear. Disappear? Hail for me. Bear asked. What Ail the hell would I do? I don't know how to work. I have no money, and that old bastard's even taken my cloak. He has me in the palm of his hand. But there are poor people everywhere, and they get by somehow. If I have to choose between hunger and poverty on one hand, and the monastic life on the other, I'm afraid the monastery wins. If I could only steal that old man's pouch, I'd be gone faster than lightning, and no one would ever see me again. That's all, then. See you later. Help. Thank you. 
humble greetings. How may I have served you? I've got what you need. Excellent. Give me the purse. You can do as you like with the ring. Here you are. Good luck, no matter what you plan on doing with those monks. Best be on your way now before Manfred finds out that he's been robbed. And what are you going to do? Get my things together and disappear. I want to be as far away as possible before that old man even knows I'm gone. Take care. Don't be an ale. I'm Carl. I'm supposed to enter as a novice. We expected you sooner. Weren't you supposed to come here with your guardian? It's been so hectic lately, people will keep turning up out of the blue. He gave me the papers and left me at the gate. We must be used to that, though. I'm not the first novice here, am I? But that wasn't very considerate of him, was it? It's been so hectic here lately, novices arriving one after the other. The last one didn't even have a letter, and you'd think his backside was on fire, the way he kept looking over his shoulder. You took him without the letter? You didn't find that suspicious? My guess is he wanted to hide from someone, but he's a priest and knows how things work in the monastery, so there was nothing to prevent him from being accepted, at least temporarily. You're a different case, though. Are you able to read? Naturally. I wouldn't be here otherwise. So then, are you ready to enter the Order of St. Benedict and renounce forever the temptations of this world? I am. Then you must rid yourself of all your worldly possessions. Sell them or give them to the poor and needy or donate them to the monastery. You may not enter this place burdened by worldly goods. Inside the gatehouse is a trunk in which you will find monks' robes. Put away all your possessions and dress yourself in the habit. Then you may rest a while, while I go and see the prior to arrange matters for your acceptance. God be with you. Strange feeling being without all of that. I didn't realise how much I'd grown used to it. <laughs> 